YouTube, welcome back to the channel, man. In today's video, I got you guys my updated Warzone 3 controller settings. Got you guys with my movement settings, my dead zone settings, my sensitivity settings. Basically, everything you guys need to be cracked at Warzone. Also, I got you guys a 30 kill gameplay as well. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So really quick, before we jump into my controller settings, I want to give you guys my audio settings. I've had a few comments asking me how I hear footsteps so well. So for my audio mix, I rock PC speaker. That's just what I have felt to sound the best. And for the speaker output, I do rock stereo. I rock an 80 master volume, and then I believe everything else is going to be default. Feel free to pause the video, rewind, and screenshot whatever it is you guys need. Now getting straight into my controller settings. So for my button layout, I play tactical flipped. If you guys don't know what that is, basically that flips the triggers and the bumpers in Warzone. So I aim and shoot with the bumpers and not the triggers. The reason I do that is for the response time. If you think about it, the amount of time the game recognizes you pressing down a bumper versus the amount of time it takes for you to press a trigger all the way down. The game is going to respond a lot faster, so I highly recommend playing on flipped. Bumper well, ping, I have this off. Flip L1 and L2 is on. Basically, what I just said, flipping the triggers and the bumpers. I play on a default stick layout preset, no controller vibration. I hate when my controller vibrates. Trigger effect, I have this off. For my dead zone inputs, I rock a zero on my left stick because the left stick is what you do to move. So I want that to respond as fast as possible. Now, if you do have stick drift, do not put this on zero or your character is going to be looking around without you even touching the stick. So if you have stick drift, maybe go to like four or five. I would not go any lower than that. For the max, I have a 50 again, just so my left stick responds as fast as possible so that my movement feels super smooth. And then for my right stick, I have an eight because the right stick is your aiming stick. So I don't want that to be too sensitive to where it messes up my aim. And then left trigger and right trigger, I have both at zero. I want the triggers to respond as fast as possible, obviously. And now we're going to go over to aiming. I rock a 15-15 on Warzone 3. Now in Warzone 2, I rocked the lower sense because we didn't really have the fast movement. So I rock 15-15 on this game to keep up with tracking people that are sliding around. For my ADS multiplier, I rock a 0 0.65. This is just what feels the best to me. Sensitivity multipliers, I've never changed any of these. I believe this is all default. Vertical aim, this is all default as well. I've never messed with any of this. Um, tax stance multiplier, I have tax stance disabled, so this really doesn't even apply. For my aim response curve type, I do rock dynamic. That is just what I have felt to respond the best. And for the curve slope scale, I rock a 0.90. I've been playing around with this. Right now, 0.90 feels really good. And then everything else I believe is going to be default. I do have an instant transition timing. I have custom sensitivity off. I just want one universal sensitivity for all scopes. I don't want to have a different sense for every scope. Aim assist type, we do have default. Now, I was trying out Black Ops earlier in Warzone 3. And now I believe default is just definitely the move. My aim feels way better. And then the rest of these are going to be default. Again, like I said, feel free to pause the video, screenshot, whatever you guys need. For gameplay, this is going to be a lot of my movement settings. So make sure you guys do have these. So for automatic sprint, you definitely want automatic tactical sprint. So that whenever you push the stick forward, your character automatically starts sprinting as fast as possible with the tack sprint. We have slide maintain sprint. I have this on so that you don't get that weird like stuttering when you slide cancel. I have single tap sprint, like I said before, to just push the stick forward and you automatically start sprinting. You don't have to click the stick in or do any of that weird stuff. Slide slash dive behavior. I have this on slide only because if you guys didn't know, if you have this on tap to dive, tap to slide, basically, if you have this setting on anything besides slide only, you are going to have a delay when you slide cancel. So I definitely recommend having slide only. Diving really is not useful in Warzone 3 now that the slide cancel and the fast movement is back. So I would definitely make sure you guys put on slide only. Sprinting door bash. I have this on. Aim down sight behavior hold. I believe everything else is going to be default until we get down to the interact and reload behavior. I have prioritized interact because I want to be able to tap to pick things up in Warzone. If I'm in a rush, if the storm's coming, I want to be able to just tap to pick things up, not hold it down. And that just makes your game feel really clunky. I feel like if you have prioritized reload or tap to interact. So we have prioritized interact and then armor plate behavior. Of course, we have apply all. You always want to have apply all on. And then I believe everything else down here is default. I don't think I've changed any of these. So that's going to be my updated Warzone 3 controller settings. And like I said, man, I got you guys a 30 kill game as well. So make sure you guys stick around for that. As always, man, I will see you guys in the next one.
Jesus, leave me alone. Losing that is insane. What? Bro. Bro, come on. Jesus Christ. We are for Ryan. Really thought you were about to get away, bro. Who's hacking, bro? Who's hacking, bro? We got 23, 18 left. Pero, ¿cómo sabía? 
no way I lost that. What? Jesus Christ. Dude, like, I can't get away from him. We have 35. Like, I can't get away from him. Why is the whole lobby on top of this roof, bro? Oh, we had 35.